Good morning, FHS. I am Ivan, and today is Wednesday, September 2nd. And I'm your host, Emily. Coming up on today's news will be wrestling, National Honor Society, discipline, and more. And now for the pledge with Ayla. Please stand. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic of which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Starting with today's news, we want to remind you that the student ambassador applications are due this Friday. Please check your email for more information. Student Ambassadors is a great way to get involved at FHS. Reminder students, please check your email daily. Discipline will be handled using your, social, your school email. If you don't check your email, that will not be an acceptable excuse and could result in more punishment. Now to Violet with a few sports. Hello hot dogs! Both the boys and girls cross country teams ran in the leap into September 5K South Mount last night. Top finishers were Karina Allen Ace in 3rd, Angel Perez in 8th, and Daniel Pritchett in 9th place. Boys tennis fell to Western Boone last night 5-0. Next match is at Frankfurt vs. South Mount September 8th. The Lady Golfers took on Danville at home last night. Sydney Caesar finished with a 41, Emily Shibley shot a 45, and Raylan Mitchell finished with a 61. Great job girls! Now for a short break with our hosts. If you're interested in becoming a Coach Kid Mentor, the applications are due September 11th. You can find more information in the chatter. I highly recommend becoming a mentor. A special happy birthday goes out to Floor Ramos. Happy birthday, Floor. Back to Violet with some hot dog sports announcements. Remember, hot dogs, for anyone not currently in a fall sport that plans to wrestle, you need to email Coach Slee at sleer at frankfurt.k12.n.us by Thursday of this week. Please title your email wrestling. You do not need anything in the body of your email. Preseason practice is next week. You will not be able to participate in these workouts until you reach out to Coach Slee via email. Please see Coach Slee as soon as possible. Make sure to go to the ISC Sports Network apps to vote for Riley Goodnight for the play of the week for this outstanding play last, night, last Friday. Tonight there will be a broadcast on the ISC Sports Network, so if you're interested in supporting the dogs, make sure to check it out. That's it for sports. Now back to your hosts. We have worked diligently with our food services to get the right menu. The reason why there is no consistency with the lunch is because U.S. Foods has decided that they will discontinue some products. Today, lunch will be chicken fajitas. We overlooked this announcement earlier this week and we apologize. NHS will meet today in the cafeteria at 3. Please email Mrs. Carter if you are unable to attend. Bring a writing utensil. Yesterday's trivia answer was 1995, but we also accepted 1984, since it was the 1984-85 season. Mr. Niehaus remembers that day as well, since he was in attendance. The first to answer and yesterday's winner was Robert J. Cox. For today's trivia, it is which Hall of Fame NFL football player went by the nickname Sweetness. This Wednesday, we are going to be talking about Ball State University. Ball State offers about 120 undergraduate majors. And tuition only for Ball State is roughly around $8,000 a year. That's for in-state. They have 500 scholarships for incoming students. Ball State is a beautiful university and is where I hope to attend to continue my education to become a news reporter. This concludes our announcements today. We leave you today with the new Case Arena Dedication Ceremony. You can watch the longer version on our YouTube channel. Don't forget to follow the channel and click the bell for notifications. He is credited with innovations like introducing the starting lineup before games, cutting down the nets after a championship win, and he was the first to use game films to scout opponents. Case is a member of the North Carolina Basketball Hall of Fame, in 1968, he became a member of the Indiana High School Basketball Hall of Fame. The ultimate honor was May 3, 1982, when the National Basketball Hall of Fame in Springfield, Massachusetts, enshrined a case. His records are legendary. His final high school, military, and college record was 902 wins, 263 losses, and one tie. His 